Number 76, a throat spray is 1.40% bimass phenol, which is C6H5OH, in water. If the solution has a density of 0.9956 grams per milliliter, calculate the molarity of the solution. Okie dokie, you got it. Now, basically, if we look at this question, they only gave us two numbers. They gave us a percent by mass value, and then they gave us a density, right? It's like two standard values. And the question says that we need to find the molarity. So I guess we should start there to see you know, if we can make any connections. Now, remember, molarity is capital M, right? And maybe I'll just write it over here. But what does molarity really equal? Molarity equals something divided by something else, right? And it's always the moles of the solute, and maybe I'll write of. So it's the moles of the solute divided by the liters of solution. Okay. Now, we've been doing these questions with molarity. If you guys are on the playlist and we saw molarity in the beginning, all we did was like moles over liters. But now this is where the solute and the solution come into play. Remember, guys, that a solution is the whole thing that we're talking about. Solution includes two parts. It includes the solute and it includes the solvent. So... Basically, we have to find out what the moles of the solute is and divide it by the liters of solution. But they didn't give me any of that. All we have is a density and a percent mass. All right, so we can't really do anything just yet by just looking at this. So let's move on. Now, they gave me a percent mass number. So I say, okay, percent mass. Is there any formulas that I know that has percent mass? Oh, yeah, it's this one. And I'll put this up here. Okay. Now, a percent by mass, right, or any percent in that case, is just a part over whole. But notice here, guys, right, it's the solute mass divided by the solution mass, right? But look at this. It's the solute over solution. Oh, solute over solution. Hmm, that's how we're going to link it together. But the thing is, is that it's moles over liters for molarity and mass over mass, AKA grams. But I think we can work something out here, right? Now, they only gave me the percentage value. They didn't give me anything else. They didn't give me the sol solute mass or the solution mass. But maybe from this, I can get numbers for the solute and the solution. So I'm gonna say, okay, my percent mass was 1.4, zero. And I won't, I won't put in the percent because we know that it's a percent. And I'm going to equal this to something over something else and multiply it by 100, right? And maybe I will, maybe I'll just drop this down just so that everything is okay. Now the question is, we don't have both of these units, but maybe we can put values in here and in the bottom so that it equals 1.4. Start with the 100. I don't want this 100 here anymore, right? And this is technically in a numerator. So if I want to cancel out the 100, technically a 100 should be on the bottom. And then those would cancel out. But still my number is 1.40. So what do you think the number would be on the top? Oh, it would be 1.40. And now look at that. We have all of the numbers. I'm just going to put grams and grams. But here we go, guys. I just found out what the mass of the solute is, and I just found out what the mass of the solution is. Right? Solute on top, solution on the bottom. So, for my solute, I now know that I have 1.40 grams. And the solute is phenol, or phenol, however you want to pronounce it, right? It's C6H5OH. And now if I need to find the molarity, what do I have to convert this into? Not grams, but we got to go to moles. So I just got to go to moles of, you know, the C6H5OH. Cool. Now coming down to the solution. I now know that I have 100 grams of the solution. 
And if I'm going to use the molarity, I got to know the liters. So I got to convert this grams into liters. Okay. It really doesn't matter which one you work with first. Let's maybe do the solute first. I'm just going to drag this down here just so I have a little bit of, uh, maybe I could actually fit this in here. And then just so that nothing is like, you know, on top of one another. There we go. Okay. So first let's convert those moles, uh, the grams into moles. We've done this conversion before. This is the periodic table PT, right? So 1.40 grams of C6H5OH. Make your ratio times by that ratio, throw the unit that you don't want on the opposite side. So grams of C6H5OH go on the bottom and the moles go on the top. And now when you're doing the periodic table conversion, remember you always have one mole. So wherever the word mole is, you put a one there. And then the mass is whatever it is on the periodic table. You have six carbons. You have six total hydrogens because you have five and one. So that's a total of six. And then you have one oxygen. So let's see what we get. You do it on, you know, your calc with the periodic table and I'm going to do it on mine. And let's see if we get roughly the same answer. So 12.01 times six for the hydrogen plus six of oh, that's for carbon six times 1.008. That's for hydrogen. And then I'm just going to add one oxygen, which is 16. So I get roughly 94.104, actually 108, 94.108. Perfect. Units cancel. Numbers do not cancel. And now I have the right unit. So all it was is just a simple division. So 1.40 divided by that mass. And I get 0 0.0149. And that's moles. Technically, it's moles of the solute. So I'm just going to put it over here. Molarity equals the 0 0.0149. And I'm going to divide that by, and I'll, I'll put moles here. Now I just got to find out the liters of solution coming down here, but it's a gram value. And I got to go to liters. How do I go from a mass to a volume? Oh, I use the density and that's why they gave me the density, right? And remember that formula D equals M over V, right? We want to solve for the volume. So if I just do a quick rearrangement of this formula, or you could just use this formula and plug in your numbers, right? But you'll see that V equals M over D. So I'm going to plug those in. My mass was the 100 and my density is 0 0.99. Five, six, right? Coming from this value up here. So the volume I get is drum roll, please. No drum roll though, because it's uh, not even the answer. <laughs> so we get basically 100.44. Now what unit is this? Well, you got to look at the density units. The density was in grams per milliliters. So we inputted the grams, right? Which means that the mills will come out. So this is actually a milliliter number. We still need liters. How do we go from mills to liters? Yeah, we just divide by 1000. So take that number, divide it by 1000 and you'll wind up with your liters. And that number goes in the denominator. So I get 0 0.10044 liters. And now I finally found out the molarity. Let's do it. 0 0.0149 uh, divided by 0 0.10044. Now this will do three sig figs. And my molarity, I'll put it up top here. My molarity equals 0 0.1. Four, eight, capital M or moles over liters, whichever one you want to stick with, but that's it guys. What'd you think? So just know that little trick. 
okay? Even though they gave you the percentage, you really found out all the numbers and then work from there, all right? So hopefully that helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you want, subscribe. Uh, that will help us out. Uh, but if not, maybe I'll get you on the next lesson. All right, we got tons more problems coming your way. And if your guys are in physics or math, or if you have any friends or classmates that are in physics or math, we might have questions that we can help them with as well. All right. So see you later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.